Okay, so this is the stitch that we're going to use for the Monstera. It's sort of a variation of satin stitch. And you use this stitch when the area you're putting into is smaller than the out, the outer edge. Okay, so do that first stitch and take it into the central line. And then the second stitch is going to want to go sort of in two thirds, so you're not taking that into the central line. You see, I've left a little gap. And then the third stitch, you're going to go into that central line and it's going to be just below where you put in that first stitch. And so what that's going to start to do is it's going to start to sort of fan your stitches out. So this is really good if you're working on something curved, any sort of flower shapes or anything like that. And it's just a case of one full stitch, one shorter stitch, one full stitch, one shorter stitch. Just making sure that your full stitches are all lining up next to each other so there's no gaps. Okay, and then for the Monstera, if you're going to work with the cuts, which is what those holes are called, um, you're going to want to start to pivot around that cut now. So rather than taking it all the way to the central line, now act like that hole is the central line, if that makes sense. You're going to want to continue that. And that's the same with if you get to any Sorry, that's my hair. <laughs> it's the same if you get to sort of any point, you can't reach that central line anymore, so you're just gonna pivot around whatever you're sort of hitting next. So you see how it's fanning it out and changing the direction, the angle of those stitches. That's, that's why you do this sort of shorter stitch, it changes the angle. to a point in a minute where you can't get to that hole without hitting that centre leaf so just start pivoting round that, that leaf cut there and then fill in those edges. You can do what I did there which is just sort of pull your thread up and see where it's going to go so if you pull it flat along then you can figure out exactly which angle you're going to go and if it's right or not. sometimes it's not and you need to do a kind of go back on yourself and fill in and that's fine as well. The aim is for your stitches to be uh, vertical by the time that you get to the bottom of that leaf. I wish I could stitch this faster. Okay, and here my angle wasn't changing quick enough, so you can do two shorter stitches for every one long stitch. And that's it. <laughs>